Fill her up. You're listening to the Gas Digital Network. Oh, it's quite the toe tapper there, Goose. That is, that's yeah. a catchy tune. Zach. I guess who we got here rolling with us today? We got Father Jim here. Father Jim in the house. Hey, guys. What are you doing, buddy? What's I'm up, happy buddy? to be here. It's yeah, good it's to see you, man. I've seen you so long. Got you, man. But uh, yeah, we were talking about it before you came in here. Another another one of the greats, Father Gilbert. Yeah, man. Passed away. It's crazy how many comics I like are dying and how many guys I don't like that are still alive. Yeah. Like the guys <laughs> that you really like. Gilbert was such a, a weird guy in a good way. Like he was so crazy and and the guy who is screaming and dirty and then you see him at the comedy cellar and he would just be sitting there by himself just sipping wine it's like do you want you want to go on tonight oh no 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 he's just a quiet shy guy yeah really brilliantly funny though man it's it's completely unexpected that's yeah Yeah. i mean what what was gilbert how old was he 67 yeah was he sick for a bit yeah apparently i I can't use these headphones they're not working i hit some with his heart was going um and i didn't know it right but then again nobody knew no mcdonald had cancer like you just it happens all of a sudden they're dead and and i found out gilbert was dead the day he died like i didn't find out he was sick before or anything right right wow yeah sad yeah Yeah, he was a legend dude don't you guys feel lucky to be alive though when your friends die like as much as it's sad like as you get older people start dying you're like it sucks but fuck i am happy to be here oh yeah i mean ozzy ozzy always says that when he just it like it baffles his mind a lot of times when he just goes thinks about all the insane things he's done yeah and he's no i mean aside of the partying right i mean like stupid things like when you're hammered like him said he said he remember being on a uh a ski lift you know what i mean like Standing on top of the ski lift, yeah, like because everyone's loaded out of their minds, like just doing completely insane stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, where yeah. he just goes, I'm. It's amazing I didn't die yeah. that that night, or right. you know, where you're just doing ridiculous things. Yeah, but he yeah. just goes, you know, when Ozzy hears about any, especially like you know, younger guys passing away, yeah, Ozzie goes, oh, that sucks, man. Yeah, you know, whatever, man. you know. So, but like Ozzy's peers, you know what I mean? Like you know, because Oz, Oz yeah. now he's like seventy three, so like, like. Oz could look at a picture of all the guys together that he rolled yeah. together with for, in 1972. Yeah. Like a band shot of like, you know, the Sabbath guys, these guys at a festival with a bunch yeah, of other yeah, guys yeah. in bands. He goes, Zach, this guy's gone. Right. This girl's gone. That guy's gone. You know, I mean, like, yeah. It, it, you know, whether, whether, and not only that, whether it's like drugs, OD, liver failure from drinking too much. I mean, just like, Car accident, yeah. cancer, just yeah. got suicide, natural causes, yeah. suicide, yeah. you know, like where you just go, oh my God. Yeah, like, a lot, everybody's leaving the party, man. Yeah. Well, no, I mean, like even yeah. even like with us, with, with like they showed a thing of uh, just the other day when uh, with Taylor? Kirk, o- Kirk O'Bain oh. and Lane Staley, because they passed away on the same day, right? Wow. You know, and it, but it was like Chris is gone, oh, everybody Kurt's from gone, uh, Andrew from uh, Lincoln Park. Uh, the Chester is oh, gone. Oh, Chester Bennington, yeah. Andrew from uh, the the original band bef- that started. Oh, Mother Love Bone? Mother Love Bone, the singer yep. Andrew. Yep. And then, like, they're all gone. Yeah, Mike Starr, I mean. Uh, Mike, I mean, like, I'm just saying from that, our generation, yeah. our genre, of, and especially from that, that, expo- <clears throat> yeah. that whole that 90s, scene. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. Gorn's yeah. a nine thing, you know, yeah. 90s thing. It was just like. They're all gone, and I, I did. You know those guys were depressed. Like as a musician, like you guys know them, their lifestyle better than I do. Did you know like guys like uh, Kurt were were really depressed, or Chris Cornell, or when it, when it happened, are you like fuck, or like yeah, yeah kind of sensed he was really well, upset. I didn't. I mean, I personally didn't know any of the guys. You know, Jim, like any. I I, I we'd seen Chris like at some yeah. festival. I saw Chris when he did the audio sleep thing. I said, oh man, it sounded amazing or whatever. But I remember Chris because <laughs> he wasn't drinking then or yeah, anything yeah. like that. And Chris goes like. I, you know, I was still drinking at the time. It was right before I, uh, before the pub got closed. Yeah. But I remember, <laughs> I was just like, I was like, ah, oh, Chris, it sounded. It was that first audio slave record, right? And it, I mean, the show was great. Uh-huh. It was, it was awesome. It sounded just like the album. It was just phenomenal. And then we found out they were lip syncing the whole yeah. concert. Uh, no, no, I mean, no. <laughs> <laughs> but but it was amazing. It was amazing. <laughs> but I mean, but the whole thing is this: I saw we saw Chris after the show. We were in the hallway before they were getting married. But I was like, ah, oh, Chris. I, I'd never met him before, but I was just like, oh, dude, it sounded amazing. He goes, oh, thanks, Zach. He goes, uh, I go, Chris, you want me to get you a beer or something? He goes, no, nah, no, nah, I'm good, man. Zach, I'm not doing anything. I said, what were you getting? Was he getting too silly? He goes, uh, 
It was beyond silly. Yeah. And I, I go, we're just uh, uh, drinking. And he goes, I, kinda, I was having fun with everything, man. And he, I, he was yeah. just laughing, but he just goes, well, I guess uh, – Yes, shows are better, right? <laughs> but I mean, like he was laughing, you yeah, know. But yeah. he was like, "Oh, miserable," you know. I mean, you know, just like he was taking the piss out of himself, you know, like going, "Yeah, I don't drink anymore. I hate myself," you yeah, know. Right, I mean, but right. it was just like, but he, he goes, "Yeah, I guess the shows are better, right?" Yeah. You know what I mean? Are you ever depressed? I've only seen you happy. I've only seen you like doing great, no matter what's going on. Do you go through that? Yeah, I've never I'm seen depressed. Zach. You're the depressed. Hey, Jenny, I'm depressed. I'm exactly being around him. I've never seen. <laughs> <laughs> Been thirty-seven years or something. I'm totally depressed. No, like, no but I mean, no. My my whole thing is, it, it's like, um. I mean, with any of our friends, I mean, I'm saying that the the press, I mean, without a doubt, well, you know, I mean, with depression, I mean, not for nothing. I mean, it's a, it's, it's a different thing than playing hurt, you know, with hockey. Yeah. You know, like yeah, what we're yeah. saying, like guys man exactly. up and, you know, it's just like they're missing yeah. three teeth and then got their broken thing. jaw and a concussion and they still come out and play and win, win two goals, you know, two yeah, the no. scoring goals, you know what I mean? You can't measure Like where this. you're... I mean, yeah. you're talking mental fortitude, General Patton, Dick Butkus, Ray Nitschke tough. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's a complete different thing right. of toughness, like playing hurt and yeah. stuff like that. Well, you know, Jack Youngblood playing with a it's, broken leg crazy, in, in the Super Bowl. So, I mean, that toughness and mental, it, that that's... You know, like you said, that, that's an imbalance. Where yeah, you know, I it mean, is because yeah, look at yeah, Chris, man. It's a di- greatest yeah. singer in the world. Great looking dude. Yeah, great. And, great and, and band. Great everything. Right. Respected it's by it. his peers, Respected his elders, everybody. By man, Paul McCartney. Everybody like loved Chris. But no, he, he couldn't. And it still wasn't didn't matter. Bad. Yeah, it's crazy, man. Yeah, yeah it's it crazy, bad, dude. Well, even like Chester, I saw this one interview with him, and he said, uh, "He goes, I'm truly blessed. I'm in a band with all my buddies. We we have amazing success, and." I have my wife, our kids, like they're they're healthy. My, I, my life financially, I, he's just like I'm truly blessed, man. I, he goes, but sometimes when I'm alone, I just get into such this dark place. And he was talking about it. It was just so like crazy. Yeah, it, it, like it's like bro, like if you had a broken arm, we bring you to the hospital. If you had a compound fracture, you know what I mean? Yeah, to go, we got to get that fixed. You yeah. know what I mean? Maybe not JD. We just leave him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just like, of course. But uh, you know, and you know, otherwise, it's just like, well, either get you, get you some medicine for that, man. Mm. Who are the guys like you guys? And I, I mean, I'm just asking you questions. Yeah. That I want the answers to. Like, I'm curious. Like, who are guys that you've met? Like in your life? Because I've met every comic I've ever wanted to meet. I was lucky. I got right. to meet those people yeah. and most of the rock guys I've wanted to meet. Uh-huh. But who, who was like the first one for either one of you guys that you met that you were like, "Fuck, man, this is an incredible business to be in." Where you couldn't believe you were actually either playing with that person or talking to that person or on a festival with that person. Well, he played with Ozzy when he oh, was yeah. 18. Yeah. yeah so, I, yeah, I, I mean, mean definitely Ozzy. That's but I mean, insane. I should I mean, say besides Ozzy, yeah, because Ozzy is. I mean, I, yeah. I remember playing one night when we did the uh, the Pacific Amphitheater. It was, uh, it was it was Oz was it was Oz. I was doing sound check with Geezer playing bass mm-hmm. and Bill playing drums. Wow, you know what I mean? Uh, so yeah. I, I mean that was pretty crazy. And we were doing probably like Into the Void or something. Yeah, yeah, and I was yeah, singing yeah. it, you know, for sound check or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, oh, this is like incredible. I mean, <laughs> yeah, like, I'm in Black Sabbath. Yeah, <laughs> well, I mean, well, I've always told everybody, like even me, you know, because me and JD we love Randy and stuff like that, St. Rhodes and everything like that. So it's just like, like. You know, my me being with Ozzy is pretty much like me being a huge Yankee fan all my life. Yep. Thurman Munson's my guy. And now I'm playing for the New York. I get drafted by the New York Yankees yeah. and I'm playing and I'm the catcher standing in the same spot where my hero stood. You're like Rick Cerrone, you're basically saying. <laughs> Rick pretty Cerrone. Much. Yes, without a doubt. <laughs> Gotta love Rick. Number 10, brother. <laughs> Rick Cerrone. What's going on, gang? I want to tell you about an amazing website for staying on top of everything metal. Notfest.com. Com yeah. last news. I was just on it today, Goose. I was just checking out. Pantera's yeah. got a new beer out, Vulgar Display, a lager. Awesome. We got Dave Mustaine. He's jamming with Lamb of God. Yeah, they did the Wake Up Dead. Oh, yes. And then you yeah. got Not Fest Roadshow 2022. Yeah. yeah. So if you want to know about new tour announcements, upcoming albums, and everything new going on in the metal scene, this is the website for all your metal-related news and content. Once again, yep. it's notfest.com for yep. tons of coverage of everything that's going on in metal. Yeah! That's right, Ghost! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, oh my. How, how about you, JD? I'm just curious because you guys get access to people that most of us don't. Um, shit, man. I think everybody. I mean, we we've been fortunate though. Totally. That all the guys that we've ran into, like you did, like meeting. Actually, all all our heroes, everyone that I've ever met, yeah, yeah. I got them on a good day. Yep. No, where, where, yep. where they didn't ruin it, where you could never listen to them again right, on yeah. the radio and you go, there's, you have to change Yeah, the there's like one or two, but I won't even mention them, so whatever yeah. about that. But, like, dude, like, when I was- They're uh, like, what's the matter with you, man? I know. Are you ruining everything? You're ruining everything. <laughs> <laughs> the posters come off the yeah, wall. Exactly, you know. Um, in 90, I was touring with Rush. So I got to, you know, really meet, you know, Getty and play oh, with Neil Peart. That's great. I played Getty's bass with, with Father Neil Vinnie, Vinnie Moore. That's yeah, nice. when I was on tour with Vinnie Moore. And uh, Zach came down to the garden when we played the garden. But I got to actually jam with, with Neil. You know? That's amazing. So that was pretty insane. I mean, meeting Ozzy for the first time was mind-blowing for me. Yeah, because yeah. we cause we love Ozzy. You you know? Know? Oh, I, mean, I, was, I was going to Berkeley College of Music at the time, and Zach was coming through uh, Massachusetts and whatever. I you know went over and... And uh, met everybody. Went over on a bus with like you know Geezer, totally. and you and Randy. I had such an amazing day. I forgot all about Ozzy. Yeah. So um, we're backstage. I'm like Zach. All right, I'm gonna bring uh, a tape of you playing back to my friends at the dorm and shit. All right. So I got a box. You know, I got the tape going. Zach's playing, and then Ozzy walked in. I was like, Holy shit! Oh, I yeah, forgot all about this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're yeah. the legends here. I forgot, man. So that was pretty awesome. Too, yeah, man. So, it, yeah, it's been very blessed, man. I've also been lucky, like very few. I can't think of anyone who I've loved who's been a dick. Like Ozzy's been amazing, and, and the guys in Sabbath and Gene Simmons was a little rough one time. Yeah, but I still loved him. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> the next time I saw him, he didn't remember it, and he was cool to me. And one of my fans started yelling at him. I was like, dude, shut up. <laughs> Everything's okay. <laughs> it's fine. That's great. But I, I, I have a high tolerance level with guys I. Love love like you have to really like i interviewed buzz aldrin and he was kind wow. of wow yeah 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 a couple times he was kind of a dick to me one time but i'm like ah, it's fucking buzz aldrin yeah, right. i'd be a dick to me too if i <laughs> walked on the moon yeah, right <laughs> what do you want the moon story again because yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's because jim goes hey you got any tang that's what he asked him you know moon like tang oh come on man <laughs> well you know who, no, you know, but you know who jim's favorite wrestler is Jesse the body. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That is the great. Well, you know, a <laughs> no. little run in. Oh, you never, you never saw that footage. No, I never. Oh did. yes, it was pretty brutal off the show with the Atlanta. Oh, yeah, we had a pretty oh. nasty argument. Really? Yeah. yeah. Wow. I, I wish it had gone differently. Well, Brian, if you could pull that thing up. I, I wish it had gone differently because I the, the only part of the argument is shown because uh, the guy was filming it. Opie only had it was uh, it wasn't before everything was filmed, right. so you only certain parts of the argument. The audio you can kind of hear how he was shitty to me first yeah but it looks like i'm going after him in the video but oh I'm not. okay but i kind of regret that it's like i don't dislike jesse ventura yeah, no, yeah. he's, well, he's a character yeah. yeah were you at a were you at, were you at a show no no it was a radio no, show we, was did, a radio we, did, show. we did interviewed him three times and, and, and that third time just didn't quite go well oh really <laughs> yeah that was the final time wow <laughs> you got you got to see this how were the first goes. two well, first one was a little tense. The second one was great, right? Uh, and the third one was you, didn't, you, uh, you, you were getting, you were sensing that Father Jim would, may have put the body into like he would have really? figure four, man. Oh my god! I, I thought the body was. I mean, there was one moment where I'm like, he's gonna hit me. Like, wow! I, I, and I was on the air, and you know how it is when it's a performance. I'm like, I got to. I didn't want to. I was nervous because he's Jesse Ventura. But wow. uh, I was. Uh, here I'm we glad go. He didn't. But you know, you know, it's. Oh, here we go. Oh, yes, they are. They're not. He's hosting a talk show in Saudi Arabia. No, he's not. <laughs> They're it's all dead. Right. You're sure of that? Yes. Were the bodies identified? No, but that's taking ah, it out of argument. Ah, Take well, we'll just fly with that. What the hell? My government told me that. So you know why I don't believe my government? Well, you believe Saudi Arabia's government no, no, no. over there flying no. planes around no, I don't. commercial airliners? I, but here's why I don't believe my government. My government has lied to me so many times Okay, in my fair life. enough. They lied to me about the Gulf of Tonkin incident. Isn't that pretty important? The yeah. incident. Well, you didn't want to go back Vietnam. that far. You don't want to go back that far with Kennedy. We can't go back that far in Vietnam. You said to me that we're, we're those guys. No, you said, because oh, no. this happened in 2004, you, pal. You, so you, we're not going back said, that far. Oh, wow. Wow. Pal, and yeah, when a guy calls you pal, you're in deep shit. shit. Oh, you're in trouble. That's not true. Yes, I'm not. It is. I, yes, I agree with you. When did you go to war? 
I've never been in the military. There's a ghost, so you don't know. But I say pull them out of every... So Because I've never been in the military, when we are attacked by I Feel a Nation, we should not... It should be proven first. I feel we proved it, you feel we didn't. You yeah. also feel that fucking Bush was behind 9-11, so we're always going to disagree. Hey, don't put fucking words in my mouth. You feel that the U.S. government was behind it. <laughs> How and Bush is that? Was the head of the I US didn't government. say that. Who do you think I just said. It? I just Our said... Our government's covering it up. We have not been told the truth. So you feel that Bush... Well, okay, wait a minute. All right. If you'll calm down a moment. I'm, you're yelling. You said I'm the emperor. Yelling. You're the governor. No. The this is serious. And I'm only talking your language so you'll understand. No, you shouldn't bring you down down to my level. Bring me up to yours. You know. <laughs> I, um, I want all right. To let me answer I'm this solve question. What you said. No, Ask, I want to solve what you said about... You know, if you're not going to let me talk, I'm out the door. You've been talking the whole time. All you do is yell over people. And you don't want to address point by point. You act like we say, send our boys to war, fuck them. We've never said that. I agree with you. But I want to pull them out of Germany. I want to pull them everywhere. The U.S. military should never be dying from oh, other countries. I, was I don't babbling. care Korea. what happens. Get them out. Fuck them. I don't care if Kim Jong-il <laughs> takes this out. That's not my business. Wow. I just think that if we are attacked, we have the right to want our military to respond. So that's not some warmonger saying, fuck the boys, send them over. That's what I want. Oh, boy, is he pissed. <laughs> he is pissed. Yes, he just sits and looks at Jimmy. Why? Awkwardly. That was a fair point I just made. You were wrong when you said that. I don't know. I didn't listen. <laughs> <laughs> no, but see, see that thing, that, that right there. Yeah. Like, it's almost anybody in almost any argument. You know what I mean? That's yeah. why, like, I don't get... Into any arguments with anybody about any of this stuff, because I, you're not going to change Anybody's anyone's right. mind. Yeah. That's right. And you're, you're not, not, you're not going to, that, like, no, I don't, Their mind's it's almost, it's, you know what I always go to in Willy Wonka, when they go, Mr. Wonka, aren't you going to do anything with the children? You know, like they're, they're jumping in the, in the chocolate river. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. He goes, oh yeah, hold on a second. Stop. Don't come back, please. <laughs> yeah. And then he just goes, that yeah. out. I, Cause no one listens no anyways. One listens. Yep. <laughs> No, no one listens. That was don't. Twitter. That was Twitter, what you saw right there. That's what Twitter is like. Yeah. It was unreasonable. I'm watching that, and I'm going, ah, I was so annoyed, but I should have shut up and let him respond. And before that, like he hadn't shut up and let me respond. It right. just got so ugly. And I, I do regret it, because I actually don't even dislike Jesse Ventura. Yeah, yeah. Like, I don't agree with him, but I, I like him. Yeah, yeah, I think he hates me but, still. But, but it's a truth. Because, <laughs> I think he does, But the sure. thing yeah. is this. <laughs> but even like in the arguments, you're... Yeah. Your belief is your belief, yep. and then his he's going to stick with his, and nobody it's changing is either budging. Yeah, yep. no one's budging. And, and it's just like, man, I, I'd rather be cleaning up dog crap right now than yeah, talking right. to you. You know yeah, I mean? Or yeah. arguing with you right. over... Because we're not going to change each other's minds. Nothing changes. Matter. And nothing's going to change anyway. I came to that conclusion, yeah. though. You're right. But it was like, it, as, with, as, as you get older and you realize, like, no matter what I say, no matter how well I say it, it doesn't matter. Like, people feel the way they feel. So it kind of takes the pressure off. Like, yeah. eh, I'll just say what I want to say, and I'm not going to change anybody's mind, Nothing. and I can't resent them for not going over to my side. It's like, right. yeah, it's fine. Think exactly. what you think, you know? Just without a doubt. Yeah. I mean, like, I, yeah. I couldn't care less yeah. whether no. you think Led Zeppelin too. You, you, if you think it's not as good as Led Zeppelin 4. Like, what do you that, mean? Then that, <laughs> that, 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 there you <laughs> go. Up. What are you talking no, but about? But what I'm just saying, it's just like. But I'll that, take Master of Reality over both of them. <laughs> ah, there you go. But that's your opinion. <laughs> yeah. You know exactly. what I mean? So you're not going to change wrong, somebody. You're right, wrong, Jim. That, <laughs> 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 All right, how about Sabbath, Bloody Sabbath? Come on, man. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> What's going on, gang? Zach Wilde and the Goose here. We want to take a quick second and thank one of our newest sponsors yeah. and a company that's been supporting our bands for years now, the yeah. Mad Viking Beard Company. The team at Mad Viking has one purpose. It's to help their bearded and tattooed brothers of the world become their absolute best. They believe it's not enough to only look good, but you must also feel good and live life to its fullest, Goose. The Mad Viking Brotherhood is strong, Zachy, and has partnered with Black Label Society to bring our fans a top-notch collaboration to commemorate the anniversary of the Sonic Brew debut release. That's right. Made with premium ingredients and yeah. a unique scent profile Ooh. created specifically for the Sonic Brew release, Goose. Ooh. The Black Label Society Beard Care line is a must-have for all the bearded metalheads. Yeah. And, of course, 
<laughs> just like all their other products, is proudly made in the USA. <laughs> In addition to the Black Label Society line, check out all their other beard and skincare products. And one of my personal favorites, the Tattoo Bomb. Oh, yeah. Look, we have a lot of time and money invested in our ink, and it doesn't make sense to use subpar, overpriced, or generic bomb on our hearts. Go check out MadVikingBeard.com for their full line of hair and skincare products. While you're there, make sure you get the Black Label Society Sonic Brew anniversary line before it's gone. Oh, yeah, Goose. Yeah. Again, that's at MadVikingBeard.com. Yeah. And use promo code BLS20 for right. 20% off your next order. And join the horde of guys making a switch to Mad Viking. Ah! Ah! But I mean, you know what I'm saying? Though? Yeah, you're not yeah, going to yeah. change anyone's no, mind. I, I mean, whether you put, you know, whether you're talking sports teams or you're talking boxers or Without athletes or yeah. quarter, who's the best quarterback, yeah. you know, Brady over Joe Montana. Oh, yeah. And then somebody will, yeah, but Montana never lost. And it's yeah. like, yeah, but Montana never went to seven Super Bowls. Yeah, yeah. right. Or no, one, one seven. seven. Didn't, he went to 10. Yeah. 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 No, I, that's what I'm saying. Crazy. So you can't go, Joe's never gone to 10. So right. he, he, he might have lost one in there yeah. and won nine. You know, yeah. so but what I'm this just is saying insane, is they man. they it's will insane. they'll tell you that he's not the greatest because he lost three to the and NFC mind East. You, mind you, avenged every one of those losses. Yes, but it, the bottom it, line is, you should see me trying to argue that Danny White is better than fucking Brady. Nobody wants uh, to hear that. <laughs> but but <laughs> Danny on. White had be better numbers than Roger. Did he really? And I think he had better numbers than Troy Aikman. Yeah. We actually really you might Father Bry, know about that. Father Bry, and you know it's just because it's because Danny didn't win a Super Bowl. Right. Yeah. But his numbers he didn't even get to were one, actually he? better than Rogers, I think. He never got to a Super Bowl, I don't think. I'm not joking. Yeah. I mean, because they always would get to the NFC playoff game, you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. Or, or a NFC championship. Yeah. But he couldn't get over it. And you know, you're coming at Larry Holmes is coming out of the shadow of Ali. Yeah. Danny's coming out of the shadow of Roger. Yeah, yeah. I mean, come on, man. You know Did that I mean? was during Dwight White's uh, Dwight uh, Clark's catch. Uh, was that uh, Danny White quarterbacking for Dallas? Uh, yeah, 81. I think that was. Yeah, probably Danny was right there when when the Niners started yeah. their reign. Yeah, that was a rough one for Dallas. I'm, I'm not a football fan anymore. I used to be yeah. Cowboy fan, but now that they don't win, I'm like fuck them. I'm very bad wagon. <laughs> I'm Ben wagon. How I'm you fucking, going? Oh, uh, you bet I am. <laughs> Good when for you. you win, I'll buy a shirt. If not, go fuck yourself. How <laughs> <laughs> he's wearing Steelers shirts and they're, they're oh, the rivals. You know, <laughs> doesn't matter. That's like my brother. Who's uh, the who's your favorite team? Who won? Who yeah, won his World Series? I used That's to my be. Favorite team. I used to be really, but it, it yeah. bothered me. Like when Leon. Let's slid on Thanksgiving oh, yeah. and fucking kick that football. I threw a shoe and it put a hole in my door. Yeah. And I was dating a girl and she's like, "What the fuck is wrong with you?" And she left. <laughs> and, like, and, and the best is, Jim didn't even have any money on the game. Oh my god! <laughs> no, that was her I shoe. Can, I can understand if he like you know just yeah. lost ten grand. Yeah, 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 no, you know I don't I mean? gamble because at all. of that play. I don't gamble at all. But man. you know what though? I mean, because I don't gamble either. But I'll tell you right now, it is pretty. It is a good time in regards to we could I be do. watching. Like we could be watching. A fishing tournament, yeah. and whoever catches yep. the biggest fish, yeah. if we all, each one of us takes one guy, totally. and we all have a hundred dollars down Fuck, on it this. It makes it so much better. And now man. we're watching to make sure our guy pulls in the biggest it's great the white shark, you, you know, or whatever. Ever. I'm totally. no, I'm saying it really is amazing. Once you put action down, oh, it's amazing. Even if it's twenty dollars, with your buddy, man, it's just like you're yeah, putting. I bet small, man. You know. I, I I don't like to give my money away like that. I don't either. You know and saying? it takes away the enjoyment of whatever you're doing well, because the money becomes the, the fuck. Right. But that's what I'm saying. I just bet a little bit just to make it a little interesting and just fun. You know, that's it. What's yeah, the, people could fucking lose their, their life, man. What's the toughest sports loss, loss you've ever taken? Meaning, as a fan, what's the hardest single sports loss you've ever been like, oh, you've ever been God. wounded by? Well, I'm a Mets fan, so there's so many. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Forget it. I can't even get well, it. I, I, think, I think I might have had like 500, 500 bucks. Like I gave you 100 bucks. I have 100. JD's got 100. Uh, maybe Jeffy and Dario over here. We all got, I just go, gave everybody 100 bucks. We all put it down at the blackjack table. We yeah. were playing Vegas or something. Yeah, yeah. We all put it down. <laughs> we, You went over. Yeah. I was under. You went over. Dario went under. Yeah. That Jeff's under. 500 the guy, bucks. He, he pulled out like a 20. Yeah. Out of 21. Two seconds. Cleaned us all out. I go, wow, $500 gone yep. like that. I go, 
this is a good time. Yeah. I, I was like, and this is when I was drinking. So yeah, I go, right. at least if I spend five hundred dollars on booze, yeah, that's at least I have something to show for. Yeah, it. Yeah. yeah, vomit, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then eat that, and then keep going. I'd eat that and cop a buzz <laughs> off of that. Yeah, 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 yeah. totally. <laughs> but yeah, that, and see, that's what I'm saying. The puke yeah. is good because I can regurgitate yeah, exactly. the buzz <laughs> without a doubt. It's when when. Oh. So that's actually five hundred dollars going in, five hundred coming out, yeah. five hundred more going, going in. in. So I got I wait, I spent the five hundred and got a thousand back. Yeah, exactly. yeah. You won. Yeah, you, you are know. the winner. Yeah. You are the No, but winner. you know what I'm saying? That's when I was just like, probably for me, that was my biggest lot. And I was just like, no, he was, no, 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 I don't mean financial. I mean like, like which one bugged? Like for me, it was like the, the Yankees losing to the fucking Diamondbacks in 2001. Like yeah. that, that loss. Uh, Crushed you. Yeah. What's that? Yeah. Was, Louis Gonzalez. No money, but in my mind, it was Louis like, Gonzalez. Oh. Yeah, and that was two runs off Rivera in the ninth. Yeah. It was yeah, fucking that horrible. Was, that yeah. was pretty painful. That was the worst one for me. I think. Mariano was human. Yeah, he Amazing. had blown a few though. They stopped and, bringing and him the in the Red fourth Sox, inning. Yeah, Fucking but what Jim about Curry. what about Boston? <laughs> what about Boston coming back as a Yankee fan and just cleaning house? The oh Yanks were up. God, Yanks three were up three biggest, three nothing. Yeah. Yeah. they sweep the Yankees, yeah. then sweep the Cardinals, who, who everyone thought the Cardinals were going to destroy yeah. either yeah. either the Yankees or the Sox. Whoever got, won, they were like they're going to get crushed by sat, the Cardinals, and they sat for so long. Right? Do you they, really oh, no, think no, that were, has a lot to do with it, though? Well, no, I think no. Uh, the Sox though swept. Oh no, they didn't sweep because they came back from se this. They seven. swept the Yankees. That's they won. No. They had to win. They won Four eight in a row. In a row. Yeah, they, won they won eight in a row. But they yeah. went seven against the Yankees. Yes. Game so seven. so St. Louis was waiting. I think. Yes. You know what I mean? So sometimes I think in football it's it's worse. Oh, you sick. mean like rust? A little bit of yeah. rust, not playing. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. It's gonna be a pitching staff, but it's not. It's not good play no, for the other players. No, yeah. so I don't know if that had anything to do with it. I know what you're saying because I always say because you have momentum going in. Yeah, and then you yeah. have, and you know, your routine. You know how? Yes, I get you know it. What I'm saying, but I don't know. No, it's just like it's like with a band, or you know, when you're doing stand up, yeah, Jim. That, when you, you know, the first first three Yankee shows, yes, you know, the first brutal. three shows you do, uh, it starts like it's a well oiled machine after at that point. You know, what I'm saying even yeah. whether it's Ozzy, Black Label, whatever. Yeah. You know, the first yeah, yeah, yeah. first couple shows in, even if the first one's cool and it's not, there's not really mm -hmm. any flaws, even with the Doom Crew. I'm saying with the tunings yeah, 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 and the yeah, guitars yeah, yeah, yeah. or whatever. But I'm saying once you, you get a routine, I'm saying totally, every yeah, day you get ready. Yeah. As soon as 930 comes rolling around, it's, yeah. it's time to go make the donuts. But and, you know, mean, and then for me, when it's like a one o'clock show, then it's a little weird. You know, oh, day you, show? Yeah. yeah, man. I hate day shows. And it's got to be the same for an athlete. Like the Rangers play every night at seven o'clock, right? Yeah. And if they got to play at 1230 one day, you're like, what's this? Especially for, you know, a sport is a lot different. But because well, you, you know, sleep and your routine. Exactly. Yeah. You know? Do you ever see that cartoon of the guy uh, who he threw a no hitter, but he was on acid when he did it? Oh, um, uh, Richards. J.R. Richards. Not J.R. Richards no, from uh, Houston. No, I forget who Gooden. was. It was a West Coast team, I think. What's that? Doc Gooden. I don't know. No, 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 no. It wasn't G.I. Richards. No, it, um, uh, he was on acid, and they do yeah. like some crazy animation on line where he's walking through because he thought it was the night, the day after, and he was like, "Oh fuck, you're pitching today, Doc Ellis." Doc was Ellis. It Doc Ellis. Yeah. He was on acid and he threw oh, a no hitter. Wow. Yeah. yeah, it's a great Doc uh, Ellis. If you if you get a chance to watch that, but it's insane. sometimes with athletes, something's weird. You're not expecting something. Yeah. And it fucking it works out beautifully. Totally. Nine times out of ten, that doesn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> like with Mickey yeah. Man, Mickey Mantle and Billy Martin and yeah. Whitey Ford, just yeah. smashed all the time. All and the time. yeah, yeah, yeah. I hit four home runs just. <laughs> <laughs> <That's pretty amazing. laughs> totally. You know, but I mean, totally. no, we're talking about routines. Like, I'll, I'll get yeah. into it even with Barb. So, you know, like, we have, I got, I have to get, pick my spots. When Sabbath goes to school, Barb gets home, I have that one hour window where I have to take, you know, I have to take my performance enhancing you do, drugs before PED, you know yes yeah. i have that hour before then we got to do what we got to do because at night it's not going to happen a blue no. pill yeah i yes. love the blue pills <laughs> yes, oh, i love them <clears throat> without a doubt so i mean it's blueberry. just like yeah <laughs> yes yes blueberry is a wonderful Boo cereal blueberry it's did you like the cereal. blueberry over frankenberry or chocolate uh, yeah, you smile uh, and you get chocolate. blue grit all over your teeth yeah. like oh fuck i forgot to rinse the water <laughs> i loved frankenberry <laughs> i liked frankenberry the frankenberry yep and the wolfman one he was out there for a little bit not long. I'm a Count Chocula person. Yeah? Uh, yeah, yeah, Remember I like that. Well, oh, here's like the that. other classic, Delicious. Brute Berry. What's that? That was, it was a short run, but it was it was like the, the fruit berry of the Count Chocula, the Boo Berry, uh, and uh, Frankenberry. Ah. It was, and he was called Brute Berry, like the Wolfman. 
There you go. Really? I that's liked a, Fred Berry. Good. Remember him? Oh, I yeah. love Fred Berry. He was in a movie called Vice Squad where he got stabbed in the dick with a fucking, <laughs> really? with a fucking uh, switchblade. Rerun. <laughs> <And> rerun. <laughs> fucking rerun, man. What kind of cereal is this? <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> it's nuts. <laughs> Literally. It Fred was. Fred Berry. What's going on, Zach Wilde and the goose here? Spring is here. Yeah. Isn't it time to clean up your mismatched and worn out sock collection yeah. while making your feet feel amazing in shoes, sneakers, or boots? Hershey socks are truly the only hybrid fashion athletic socks on the market. Are you tired of your feet hurting in your dress oh. shoes? Well, Hershey's custom feet and arc support. Solve all that! <laughs> Tired of digging your socks out of your boots? Heshi Stay Up Technology solves that. Well, tired of your feet stinking oh, yeah. and your kicks after your workout or a game? Yeah. Well, Heshi's breathable cotton and all the good <laughs> properties that it has solves all that! Right. Most fashion athletic and dress socks are expensive. Poorly constructed and provides zero protection. Not ours. Oh, no. Well, Heshi cut out the middleman and provides a superior product at a superior price, Goose. Pop it out with multiple styles and colors. You'll look just good while feeling great. Yeah. Well, don't take our word for it. Oh, go to HeshiSocks.com. H-E-S-H-I Socks.com. That's right. Enter the promo code Goose 30 for 30% off your entire order of our fashion, athletic, basic, or ankle socks. Heshysocks.com. The best thing thing to ever happen to your feet or your footsies. (laughs) Uh, My friend's father actually did the voice of Frankenberry. I mean, I met him as a comedian. His name is Brian McFadden. Uh Big voiceover guy. And his dad was a big voiceover guy. And And he did did Frankenberry. Did Frankenberry, yeah. Fred Berry, watch Vice Squad. It's from like the uh, the late 80s or the mid 80s Uh where he plays a pimp and uh, Wins Hauser plays another pimp who stabs him in the dick with a switchblade. Oh my God. Fucking great. He's wearing (laughs) a silk robe. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Who doesn't love Fred Berry? Oh my God. I just, my girlfriend sent me a meme of him, you know? We need to make this a serial. <laughs> <laughs> so great yeah oh my yeah God. they were the best they were yeah i like the old I, I like older movies too um newer stuff i'll watch but i kind of prefer older stuff maybe that's just what, like we wax poetic about shit from when we were younger it was better man it was good there was just so much good shit i know, guess when we were younger they run out of ideas now i don't know man. no I don't, I don't think so i i think i i really think but well there's, there's two sides to that coin because when me and jd ever talk about is we're not we're not fully on board with the well things were better when we were younger right, right. type thing you know yeah. so I mean it's it's not that it's just that uh, no, but the classics man no no but but the classics but think about it before you know because we love uh, the Exorcist Jaws everything like that yeah. right before they came out every yeah. you know people were just going oh man everything sucks or whatever you know what I'm saying so every generation probably that's right, yeah probably has because I'm just saying like I don't the, know we, those, we always talk like with musicians with music yeah you know the Sinatra generation yeah. right so when Elvis and Chuck Berry and you know Buddy Holly came out and that thing was exploded they were like oh my god you hear the stuff my little brother was just doing it's horrendous man you know yeah, what I mean yeah. they're like this is garbage then when the Beatles and the Stones yeah, hit yeah we get it it's just- they were like everyone that loved Elvis was like have you heard this stuff my little yeah. brother was it's crap terrible man. yeah <laughs> and then the same thing after the Stones and the Beatles you know, all of a sudden you know when it started yeah, morphing yeah. you know late 60s all the flower power and you had Hendrix Cream and Zeppelin and Sabbath and Deep Purple it was like have you heard this crap my yeah, little right, brother you right. know it's the same yeah. thing totally. man i remember yeah. put it this way like the the 25 26 year olds uh, i was reading this article it was kind of funny talking about the age gap type things you know like the seniors in high school when the the freshmen are coming in yeah. obviously they're have you heard what they're listening to yeah, it's yeah, crap yeah. you know so somebody wrote a review when zeppelin came out it said well yeah i guess robert plant's okay if you've never heard roger daltrey 
because they're they right. like the who. Yeah, right. And so to them, Zeppelin is what my fifteen year old little brother and my sister listened to. Well, there was one guy. You in know, Ro they were all 24, 25. Yeah. There was a guy in Rolling Stone who used to sh trash Zeppelin like, for years. Gave them bad reviews. He was just the guy like, that became his identity was the guy who would give Zeppelin a bad, bad review. reviews. And it's like even when you listen to that old shit, it's like how could you think this sucks? He's, like even if you didn't love it, how yeah. could you think this sucks? Like, no, it's because they all slept with his girlfriend. Probably. Right? probably. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't let him in. I mean, but no, I mean, you know, I think it's just so funny about all that. Like, I, I just used to think it was hilarious even when I was younger. I was just like, because Jimmy Page, the big thing was he would get so upset yes. by these reviews. Hated like, them. He would yeah. just like, what is, how, you know, like, just like, like take them personally. Yeah, right. Yeah. And, I, and it's like, but Jimmy, you just played in broke the attendance you just yeah, broke right. the beatles yeah. attendance record you had like sixty-eight thousand yeah. people in this tampa yeah, stadium do care yeah. about why do you even apparently they like the record yeah what are you you're getting blown in alistair crowley's house yeah, what right. do you care what this fucking asshole <laughs> yeah. critic does nice fucking doesn't act. matter exactly yeah. and you know what i always thought was weird totally. about the critics and stuff like that or, or just reviews or any anything whether it's a movie mm -hmm. or anything and where you go who if somebody said anyway? Jaw or The Exorcist or Jaws or Animal House was terrible, it's not even funny. And then we go see the movie. I go, what movie did they see? Yeah. And I'm like. Totally. Like, no, I'll go see the movie and judge whether I like it or not. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just like, oh, you don't want to go see it because so-and-so, whatever magazine said, it yeah, sucks. Yeah. You know, I go. That's so funny. <laughs> and critics are almost always failed at whatever they're reviewing. Yeah, Most right. times there are people who couldn't do what they're reviewing. Yeah, so they right. find a way to frame it where they can well, still David, have an impact. David yeah. Lee Roth, this is a funny thing from quote from Dave. He just goes, they go, uh well, David Lee I think it was one of the one of the music magazines or something. That he just goes, Why do you think they all like yeah, they can't stand Van Halen? But they like Elvis Costello. He goes, well, they all look like Elvis Costello. <laughs> That's why they like Elvis yeah. Costello. They yeah, hate right. us. Because <laughs> they all look like Elvis yeah, right. Costello. And I actually, I was just like, actually, that makes, Completely he's pretty sad. spot on. That's funny. You man. know, yeah. Well, they all look like Elvis yeah. Costello. That's why they love him. Totally. That's why they hate us. Yeah, so it know. doesn't bother you. Try I try like I don't read social media comments. I just because it makes me dislike people. So do you try not to like engage with that stuff just because not even because it's negative. It's just like it's just too much. I don't need no. When I, whenever I read negative I love, stuff, I love it. No, whenever I read it, I go, <laughs> I go. Hey, Father Jim. It, a lot of times it's me. You know, you know, JD wrote that one. You know what I mean? <laughs> just like hack, hack, hack mild. Yes, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> this album, hack this mild. album even sucks more than the last one. How if that's even it? possible, I go, oh, Goose is at it again. <laughs> I got a burner again. <laughs> the, the best is like when Ozzy will write and see any of these reviews. Yeah. And Ozzy, Ozzy will be the first one to go. Zach, look at this one. This one's pretty good. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I That's guess you great. get used to it, right? Like, yeah, I mean, Sabbath we, always got shit on by the right. crate. It doesn't mean anything. Yeah, people I mean, hate, like, pay, hate us, you know? Well, like, Ozzy said, he, I goes, hate us. he goes, if Sabbath <laughs> ever got a good review, he goes, we're like, hmm. <laughs> Something's gone awry over here. <laughs> like something, are they trying to kill us or yeah, something? Right. You know, because something's not right. You know what yeah. I mean? But, uh, I mean, it was just like with Spinal Tap. You remember when it was like the one review was shit, instead of shark sandwich, yeah. shit sandwich. <laughs> they can't write that, can they? <laughs> I've never seen that whole movie. I've oh, never yeah. seen all of Spinal Tap. Really? It's crazy. Uh, I know it's a fucking classic. Yeah. I've watched moments of it. I like Michael McKean. I've never seen the yeah, whole yeah, film. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you got it. Yeah, I mean, it awesome. there's just so many things in there. So, and, and it's so true to life. Like for a touring musician. The shit happened, like like the cold sore thing. I don't know if you saw that. No. It was so funny. I'm I'm with Drill, right? 90. Yeah, because they were obviously both with the same girl. All right. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm and they not, both got cold sores. And they, it was 95. I'm on the tour bus. We're watching Spinal Tap. And I look over at my guitar player, and he's got a cold sore. <laughs> no way. I'm like, this is fucking awesome, man. <laughs> it's so true. There's so many things. Comes to the territory. Getting lost or something, like underneath the place. Oh, yeah. Dude, and then the, time, girl, the girlfriend type stuff. Yeah, yeah. One, I, I mean, one time. Time, me and filth got locked out of the place when you were soloing see zach would do a solo by himself right so this is the beginning of black label and jd definitely left the building i left the building whenever that happened but uh me and the drummer had to take a piss so we just ran outside right shut the door and the door was locked 
<laughs> we couldn't get couldn't back get in. back in. Couldn't get back in. We're pounding on. We're like, he's. Would you have to go in. around front? No, I don't even. Remember. You didn't have your laminates. So no, you I know. No, yeah. I think somebody actually finally came, but it was pretty funny, dude. But all these things, like they 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 happen. You know, no, it's, that happen. movie is amazing. It's amazing, dude.